This video is packed with optical illusions. Whoa, whoa. Hey. It's whatever I'm looking at. Is it whatever I'm looking at? That is so cool. Woo, trippy. Me getting my mind blown. Oh my gosh, what the heck? <sighs> that was sick! And a wholesome message that I didn't expect. Today we're continuing super liminal because you all liked the previous video and I am so happy you did because I've just been thinking about this game nonstop. Before we dive into the game, huge shout out and thank you to Epic Games for sponsoring the video. I am part of their partner program, so if you decide you wanted to check out this game or other games in their catalog, be sure to use the code IASCUPQUICK when you check out. And also be sure to check out the store on Thursdays because that's when they normally have their sales. And you know your girl loves sales. So let's go ahead and finish this game. All right, so I have like woken up not really. 4 a.m. Last time I did this, it was 3, so it's 4. It looks like I'm in another dream. I could interact with this. Let's turn that off. All right, what other trippy things are we going to be able to see today? Well, this is different. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt <laughs> therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. Ooh, they're little, are those cherries? They look like little cherries or peaches. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Wait, is this something? Is this the thing where if like you stare at the center? Let's do it. I'm going to stare at the center for like 10 seconds and see what happens when I look away. I could see like little rings already around. Okay, wait, I think you gotta look at the room now. Okay, I'm gonna look at the room, see if anything happens. Whoa! It's like spinning. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I love these. <laughs> wait, perception is reality. Your friendly doctor. P.S. We'll get through this. Okay, I think we're gonna have to use this to, to get up here. Make it bigger. Apples. What? <laughs> I just love it. I love little surprises. That is, these are not real. It's on the wall. <gasps> Whoa. 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 That is so cool. Is your mind blown? <laughs> It's now 5 a.m. Does that mean we're on level five? First it was three, then it was four. Now it's five. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Hello. Pierce. And despite touring the waterfall serenity zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. <sighs> Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? I did not experience the waterfalls, sir. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Is this gonna turn into a nightmare? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Red light. Scary light. Uh, this is not supposed to be a scary game, right? Flickering hall lights? Why you do this to me? Oh. Oh god. Is that the exit? What a fake. I was given hope. I'm in a factory. Ooh, I'm in a freezer. I don't know why, freezers freak me out. Like large freezers like this, I don't like it. Can I grab, I could grab those. <gasps> what is that? No, there's blood. Oh no, this game is taking a dark turn. Murder! <laughs> Monday murder, Tuesday murder, Wednesday murder, Thursday murder, Friday murder, Saturday murder, and Sunday beans. <laughs> it's a packed schedule. Um, 
Now we're talking about murder. What is happening? Oh, is that a... Uh, do I have to go over there? Oh. That's trippy. Okay. I can go under this. And go where? Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Trees, my friends. Hello, friends. Hello. How are you in this dark hallway? How are you still alive? There is no natural light, my friends. Uh-oh. Here's the doctor. Doctor, pull me out. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. Okay. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. Kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Okay. What is this? Why you gotta try to scare me with the fake head? With the mannequin head? Freaking mannequin head! Oh, it's not even a mannequin. It's a chest, a chest piece on a ladder. <laughs> well, it's a pawn. <gasps> How ominous. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard <laughs> orientation well, protocol. You're giving me sass now, aren't you, robot lady? Who put this flashlight here? <gasps> the knife is gone! <gasps> oh no, murder. It's 6 a.m. Oh no. Oh no. This is turning into a nightmare. No. Got another one here. Yeah. I honestly don't know if that's going to do anything, but let's go to the relaxation room. I want to relax. I have a feeling this is going to, going to like turn dark or something. Like they're going to put some creepy images on the screen. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. You're not making any sense, sir. You're not making this any better. It's working, it's working. Oh, maybe I'm coming out of Maybe, maybe I've been stuck in a coma or I went, I went to this deep sleep and then I just got in this coma and I've been in a coma for a long time and I'm an old person. Oh, there's a house. I like how I'm just saying, I'm just an old person now. Is this my home? Can I go in here? I can go inside. Wait a minute. I need to come back. Wake me up. I feel small. Am I like a baby? Oh wait, this is a thing here, hold on. Yes, it still works. Uh, okay, so I can't open that. Let's see if I could go this way first. Wait, did I just go in a circle? I just went in a circle. I think I have to go through that door somehow. Is this an illusion? Oh, 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 okay. Can I open this? Can I go in? This is so crazy. <laughs> like, how do you even think of that? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Look at the wall. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. Am I going to like have to go over there now? Oh my lord. <laughs> Hello. So cool. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite no. inspirational quote by me. Oh. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, 
the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever that held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus okay, on that. Come on. I will focus on the positive good sir. Thank you for the pro tip at life. I don't know if I want to go up there yet. I think I'm going to go this way. A bouncy house in a swimming pool. Ooh. Oh! Ah! <laughs> How did that happen? Okay, set it down. I forced my way through. Oh, I'm in the vents. Oh, there's a door over there. Okay, okay, I see. Ah! Oh no! Oh, I can just put it on the diving board. Duh! I was like trying to make it all big. We did it! We have made it! Here we go. Hello. Okay, my name you don't need to Dr. introduce Gwen yourself Pierce, every time, dude. And I'd like to thank you for triggering every <gasps> single one of our 823 emergency go, protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future oh. patients. Congratulations. Congratulations anyway, you're now headed in the right direction. And we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. I don't shortly. believe you, sir. I do not believe you. Where did I come from? Which door did I come from? Oh jeez, it's a puzzle. Um, do I have to get? I think I might have to get in there. I'm supposed to grab the door. Okay, wait. And I grab this one, and I put him through. Or does it matter? Let's see if I could go through. Oh, I'm here. I made it. I made it. Uh, I'm so tiny. Um, okay, there's a giant house. I think I could go in the house. There. You go in. Ah. Five to six dreams is the absolute limit. Wait a minute. What dream am I in? I think I'm in like nine. <laughs> mm. Oh look, meeting for Cardboard Lovers Association. <laughs> that is my cat. She loves cardboard. Oh, the level is loading right now. It's 3 a.m. again. Does that mean I'm closer to waking up? Emergency exit protocol yes! initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience oh. in 10. Please wake up. 9. 8. No. Error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by no. for the analysis. The blood's back. Oh. The blood is back. Error analysis complete. Wake me up. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. Oh, no. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Listen, the countdown just made me real nervous. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. No. Impossible. Reformulating. What? I'm just gonna keep going. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot oh, no. proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Emergency destroyed. Instruction. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation oh, protocol. no. Goodbye. Wait, am I awake? Am I awake? Am I... Still dreaming? They just left me here? They just left me in my dreams? <gasps> Am I like escaping? What if I. Perception is reality. I don't know which direction I'm. Oh, I found an arrow. I found an arrow. Maybe I just keep 
following the arrow. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, oh, yes! Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Oh my gosh, what the heck? <sighs> that was sick! Oh my gosh. <sighs> that was crazy! <sighs> Did I escape? Am I awake? Hello? Oh, that's a wall. Oh, that's another wall. This is crazy. Perception is reality. You know, playing this game is just making me believe that we're living in a simulation. <laughs> and literally, this is our world. Just a big, just a big old, big old box. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here. I can't pick anything up. Oh, where did this come from? Oh. Am I awake? Hello? There's no alarm. If this was the bed that I was really in and I'm really awake, this is just, I question this establishment. This is highly I'm unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt diagnostic framework. What? Patients do not have access oh. to this dream. <gasps> Am I changing the building? I think I'm changing the building. Oh, that's right. Cause then I want to be in the parking lot. <laughs> I mean, I'm little, <laughs> not back in the parking lot. I am just little. Can I go? Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. I'm kind of scared to jump off. Oh. Jumped off. I'm taking it in here. I wish I was bigger, but listen. Something happened. Something happened. I heard a noise. Is it gonna work? Whoa! Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive We're breaking it. Okay, result. Please paradox overload. I'm still tiny. We're breaking the dream. Am I supposed to do that again? <gasps> Am I breaking free? Am I waking up? Please, let me wake up. I'm a normal size now, okay. I don't think I'm awake. <laughs> Not an exit. I'm going anyways. Ooh. Ooh. This is crazy. Oh. A door. <gasps> Hello. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm waking up. I can grab this. I need to hear the message. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to go up there. Maybe I'll go on the edge, on the ledge right here. No, I just flicked the switch. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I'm supposed to walk into the light. Oh, 
Oh, that's so crazy. Um, am I just supposed to walk away or? Oh, there's another door behind here. This is so crazy. Another one. You're well beyond dreaming now and further out than anyone has ever come oh, back no. from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? Yes. But I would like to wake up now, sir. Oh, there's a little... Oh, I'm gonna put these down. I don't think it matters where I put him. Ah! I maybe I need to step on certain ones because it drops me back. Maybe not. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think I have an idea. What if it's whatever this guy's on, right? Because he's on solid ground, so maybe I gotta move these two. Yes. In order for me to move, they have to be on it. And I'm gonna put it here just in case. <laughs> I don't wanna fall through, you know? Okay, I got my little cube here. Let's see if I could go through this door. I don't think I can reach, but let's go through this. Oh, I can't. <laughs> There's a cheese slice in here. I gotta use this guy. Oh wait, I gotta put him through. This is so crazy. Let's rotate it. Will I be able to make this? Ooh. That's cool. Uh, am I gonna fall through this? Ooh, okay, we're going down. This is crazy. This is so cool. I don't know how far I'm supposed to go down though. Like, does it go on forever? No, it stops right here. And there's a door. Whoa, whoa! Hey. It's whatever I'm looking at? Is it whatever I'm looking at? That is so cool! Woo, trippy! I think I'm going the right way. <laughs> I just never know with this game. I just I just go and hope it's the right way. Is this the exit? Am I gonna wake up? I'm gonna wake up. <gasps> what time is it? What time is it? Seven? <gasps> I'm gonna wake up. Finally! It's 8 a.m. Oh wait, it's 8 a.m. <laughs> I don't know if that means, am I awake? <laughs> no, not awake. Let's, I can't pull these guys anymore. Am I almost awake? Oh. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was oh. supposed to. You see, Everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again, and again, and again. I like it. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. This is cool. I like it. We're going all the way back through the map. Your life will 
always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. Aww, I love it! I was not expecting such an uplifting message. This is so sweet. I love this game even more. In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait up. I got chills. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. That game was a freaking treat. <gasps> we did it. I totally was not expecting that lovely little message. That was so nice. I love it when games do that you know like unexpectedly the message was that whatever you're dealing with you have to look at it from other perspectives to think outside the box and open your mind to different possibilities and continue moving forward thanks for dreaming always dreaming oh that was great that was great I think that deserves Nice little clap. I haven't played a game like that in a long time. That I like thoroughly enjoyed all the way through, didn't feel like stuck, and I just enjoyed the whole, the whole thing. And the message at the end was just like cherry on top. So good.